In this video, let me show you how to blur the background in 5 minutes. Before doing that, just make sure all the adjustments are done in the Lightroom like noise reduction, white balance etc. Once the necessary changes are done in the Lightroom, right click and choose to edit in Photoshop. If you don't see Layer Panel, go to Window Menu Select Photography and set to Default. To start off with, create a new layer without unlocking the background layer. To do that click Command plus J in Mac and if you a Windows user it's Control plus J. Now click on the copy of the background layer and name it Blur. Go to Select Menu and choose Subject. If you feel the subject is not selected fully, then go to the Polygonal Lasso tool to select the edges by clicking the Option key to add or subtract. For demonstration purposes, I will roughly show you how to select and deselect using this tool. Once the subject is fully selected, we need to use Photoshop Feather to soften the transition between a selection and a background. To do that, go to the Select menu and choose Modify and click on Feather. A dialog box appears to add a value. The value defines the width of the feathered edge and can range from 0 to 1000 pixels. Let's add feather radius of 0.3 for this image size. Now go to Layers menu and select New Layer via Cut. This will add another layer in the Layers panel, and you can name it as Subject. Click on the Blur layer and go to the Filter menu, choose Blur and select Gaussian Blur. A control dialog will appear to increase or decrease the blur. Just for demonstration purpose let's push High. Once you are happy with the blur, click OK. Now merge layers by selecting them and pressing Ctrl plus E for Windows and Command plus E for Mac. Save the image and close the file in Photoshop. Let's go back to Lightroom and compare between before and after image. Now you can see the image with blur background without impacting the subject. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.